ready? My presentation is on promoting regionalism in the media in developing countries. In recent years, there has been a significant increase in digital media use globally. Over time, there has been over time, technological improvements have facilitated mass communication around the world. There are many benefits to the media. There is also one main disadvantage, increased social conformity. This has especially affected developing countries. Of the 19 developing countries surveyed by Pew Research Center, 42% have said they have access to the internet or a smartphone. This is represented in this graph where the emerging and developing economies are increasing and the advanced economies are slowly plateauing. The stimulus material, ultra fast fashion is eating the world and democracy in America provided a better understanding of how the media can cause individuals to conform to one another. Some examples are in fashion and in politics demonstrated in these articles. Both of these issues heavily rely on the media so it is common to have the desire to conform. The direct relationship between the media and conformity has left a negative impact on developed countries in the past. This chart shows a list of countries that are cons considered developing and all of them have shown an increase in media use. To avoid conformity in developing countries with still receiving the benefits of global connections from the media, there needs to be changes in the types of content shown to include regionalism so that cultural groups around the world can feel more confident. A main source of conformity in adolescence is social media. A study of undergraduates in Nigeria showed that many young people in technology-driven society have heavily depend on the media to define on social media to define their identities. This form of entertainment causes teens to, to fit in so much that it can cause addiction and even depression and other mental illnesses. The rise of influencers are not helping. Influencers target specific groups that they want attention from and they form groups of followers that eventually become just like them. This is the exact definition of conformity and it reduces indiv individualism in those involved. Subjects covered in the media cause people to conform to one another due to political and economic factors that might make people believe similarly. Since the media is mainly used for persuasion, it is a major way to express re reform movements such as women's rights. A trending hashtag in Saudi Arabia and male guardianship has led over 2.7 million people to support them. It is unlikely that this many people care as deeply about this issue as the original people that posted it. It is getting the word out there, but people were probably just posting it because they saw others doing it too. Again, the media targets certain audiences to get everyone to believe what they believe. It is possible that conformity can be used for good but the rapid spread of other social norms will reduce individualism as well. This graph shows that the main reason people retweeted this women's rights, women's rights hashtag was because they had no reason. Their reason was to fit in with the crowd and it is possible that they would feel insecure or bad about themselves if they didn't post it. A way developing countries can slow the spread of conformity is to require time limits on all media technology. This is already an option in many devices and its benefits go beyond just decreasing conformity. As screen time decreases, the desire to fit in with the crowd and to have an identity crisis will also decline. This solution would work best if it was implemented by governments, but this can't happen because it goes against natural human rights and freedom of expression. Since focusing on time is unrealistic, a better solution is to change the content displayed on the media. Regionalism is defined as grouping based on cultural characteristics that make someone unique. 
Encouraging this in the media will reduce the desire to conform because it will inform people about their culture and they may form strong connections with their roots. A limitation is that it'll take away from the most important news shown on the media, but this is unlikely because there is always extra time to include this. It may also slow the spread of globalism, so it needs to be limited to only in culture. Developing countries need to find a balance in modernizing and keeping traditional practices due to the spread of media technology. They cannot follow in the footsteps of more advanced countries regarding media usage because it will lead to even more destruction of cultural groups and conform conformity is unavoidable, but it can be improved through changes in the media. The use of the media will continue to increase as developing countries begin to have access to communication technology. The desire to conform will only increase as they are seeing trends around the world. Screen time limits is not the best idea, so regionalism should be included in the media to show people the benefits of their own culture. Thank you. Uh, staff and students, pardon the interruption. Um, this is a FCLE uh, test announcement. Those again are to have Mr. Merriman Wilkes in Kootsie fifth, sixth, or seventh period. You should be uh, leaving a lunch and coming to the media center and gathering outside. If you missed a lunch, please go to lunch now and then report to the media center when finished for your civics exam. Thank you. All right, question number one, what evidence did you gather that you didn't include and why did you leave it out? I didn't include the political lens that I included in, in my research paper because it was off topic from my final solution of including regionalism because that focused more on the cultural lens. Okay. And lastly, what additional questions emerge from your research and why do you think those are important? A question that emerged from my research is is that I wondered, I, I focused on the social media part and I wondered why adolescents are so focused on social media to define themselves and why, don't they, why they don't use their own culture and they, they use social media as like a lifestyle almost more than like their actual life. Cool. Awesome job. Anyone turn that off?